This video is the day 5 of 14. So like I promised old B, day 5, we are gonna be working on the task that he wants me to do inside our house. And also give me a break from the budget on the Jonathan and Susan's house. He will be the one paying their wages materials and if we have overtime for their food so while we're waiting for the floor of Jonathan to be cured properly we are now working on it so you can see that Jonathan is making the doorway of Old Beast Theater so while well, after we he done this, we'll wait for it to be cured, and he'll be working on the screen first while waiting for this, and perhaps all the um, waiting period, we can do some of this around here. He wants me to redecorate the lounge. So, first day, so I still got about 10 days before the old bastard will come home and you can see old Mars there on the back of Jonathan is puttying the walls ready for the cinema theater but he's gonna putty everything even here on the lounge because then it will have a smooth walls and ceiling also another thing that we've done this morning is chip out the old tiles that needs repairing you can see some of the furnitures there i have to put it there because we have no more room i want all of this empty and also we sanded the sand the doorway door and the jam so it's all be ready but that's all we're waiting for is the squaring of the doorway and then Jonathan will start working on his screen, the design that Old B wants, while waiting for this um, doorway to be cured properly. See, like I said, we're gonna be doing it. It's just that I got, I'm using four days out of the 14 to finish the flooring of Jonathan and Susan's house. But I know in my capacity that I could do this job here on the time frame that Old B was moaning that I'm not doing anything. I thought he's expecting the whole 14 days just be spent here. Now, because anyway, I know the capacities of my guys, that how, how fast they can work. But I'll show you the extent of the flooring in a minute because we are we are quite proud of it because especially the people that helps us build it Sir Ben you are the instrument of that project to start it like that Jeff W Mr. Craig Mr. Ken and hopefully others will follow i hope and we are waiting for jd needs contribution as well the team needs contribution so it will go towards the walling and the fin rendering of it and the beams for the roofing of the house of jonathan and susan this is one thing that we discovered from our type of soil here on the hill this is granite so this is what actually used by the sellers of sand and gravel when you actually sift it like what Susan is doing and you got the sand so what these rocks are doing uh, will be the one to be used as filling so this is what actually some people do if they have this type of soil the you right that i have because you know i got someone so concerned that it's saying in the comments that it's only a matter of time that before this one 
slide erode is erode away like i tell him on the comment i bought this land on a woman that was born here and she was 107 years old when i bought the land and that was over 20 years ago so this is hill that you're looking at like this has been over 120 years if you consider the old woman that i bought it from and from the time i bought it and it still remains the same and all the soil analysis that was here is like you're lucky you got your right type of hill which is solid and don't easily landslides so that's why I said I have to use a back uh, digger just to break it because it's really hard to just do it manually and now we have this pile of rubble this is gonna be the filling that I'm gonna be using to like backfill the road ready for concreting but if I could also get the sun and that's going to be used for the rendering and the filing of blocks on Susan and Jonathan's house. The better. But it saves me a lot. That one that she's, she's doing there now is about one cubic. And including that one that she, they had a while ago. So one cubic. That's already a lot of savings for me considering the amount that I'm paying from the trucks that delivers my sand and gravel. But the gravel, I will buy it properly because it's crushed gravel. But the sand, I didn't realize that this is very viable. This earth that I have here, the diorite earth. Good for filling and we got sand out of it as well because it's like a mixture of granite. So this is the entirety of the flooring of the house of Susan and Jonathan that um, we actually had a bet of how many sacks to be used. Jonathan's estimate was 30, 40 bags and Susan is 39 bags. Marciano said 36 bags or 38 bags but Oh no, Marciano says 38 bags. I said 36 bags. The actual usage that we have done is 35 and a half bags. So I'm the closest one. So we are now working on Old Beast Theater or Cinema Room. And we give us time here to cure this floor. This is 6 by nine six meters and nine meters with the so 52 square meter up here on the top we're planning to put the stairs going up over here on the side so the other rooms because it's such a shame to make a hole in the middle of the still deck so it will be creating six rooms which is you gotta remember the children of susan and jonathan are 12 so enough for the family so josie is always up here climbing on the ladder and so this is what susan is thinking for our render is using that durite sand that is sifted it's actually the same sand that we're buying from the trucks so it does saves me a lot on the rendering and filing of blocks over here so this is the hill that's been dig up a little bit by the neighborhood's digger but it can get me some of the sand that I'm gonna be using to file this 
house on the top so much the better so any help will go a long way every little helps like a Tesco slogan this is what's been done today the boys don't want to do overtime because they were so tired last night we finished about 12 o'clock but the first time last Saturday we finished about 1 o'clock so at least the flooring is all done but they still did a good job taking out the old moldings on the top and then render this wall that's where the window was and then I have them covering the old walls as well after we scrape off any roughness and then also here the sides of the doorway has been measured by Jonathan according to the jam and he has squared it up it's only need this was this the top header to be done then we leave that to dry we'll concentrate on the screen the installing of the window uh, doors will be the last thing that we're gonna do before old B will come so that will be like in 10 days time so enough for that to cure the rendering that's been done here and after Jonathan done that we'll be doing the screen that we old B was instructing us to do so I have all the materials ready for that all the screws ready for that the plugs talks we call it here and old man will continue doing the putty let me check the putty I think that's enough for the room because he's gonna do two or three coatings of the putty and then we'll sand it and then we paint so that's the first day here day five out of 14 but it's gonna be indoor now and old bees orders that are now being served.